the Miami Dolphins have the chance to draft Ladrian Waddle, and that will be selected during the 2021 season as part of their attacking line improvement. But, is Ladrian Waddle fit for Flores' O-line team? What did Waddle has? Take a look at how Waddle play and on the possibles. Waddle has tackle, guard versatility and 31 starts in 61 games played. Eight of those starts came as an undrafted rookie on Jim Schwartz's Lions in 2013. I should also add that Waddle made 24 starts in 30 games played under former Lions offensive line coach and current Eagles director of player personnel, senior defensive assistant Jeremiah Washburn. There's some level of familiarity here. The Lions traded Waddle to the New England Patriots and he served as a valuable swing tackle for them as they won two Super Bowl title while he was on the team. Safe to say they couldn't have done it without him. Waddle was lining up as the Buffalo Bills' second team left tackle during 2019 offseason practices before suffering a season-ending quad injury last August. He suffered a torn quad in training camp that ended his season. It's likely a season-ending injury, since quad tiers usually require four or five months of recovery. But I would think he's healthy by now. Waddle only turned 29 in June so he should have plenty of tread left on the tires. He looks like a good swing tackle option to me. But, does Adrian Waddle suits Flores? Whether you're a lifelong diehard football fan or a casual recently introduced to the greatest sport in the world, you've no doubt heard the old adage, the game is won in the trenches. One year after quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick regularly made plays under siege, the 16-year veteran is enjoying more time to throw, taking less hits and losing fewer drives to sacks. The Dolphins overturned 80% of the 2019 offensive line that surrendered a league-high 58 sacks. Right tackle Jesse Davis started 15 games in 2019 and had the lowest pressure per snap rate among all Dolphins offensive linemen. He's the lone incumbent. General manager Chris Greer and head coach Brian Flores put an emphasis on rebuilding the offensive line both through the draft and free agency. Miami is in a pretty incredible spot to load up, could get Ladrian Waddle into the position as well as a pair of free agent contracts for accomplished interior linemen. If all five starters, Austin Jackson, Eric Flowers, Ted Karras, Solomon Kindley, Ladrian Waddle, on the field for each of Miami's 198 offensive snaps, continuity is developing. And, in the process, the line is producing results. Last season, Ryan Fitzpatrick was under pressure on 40% of his dropbacks with 18.8 pressures and 4.4 quarterbacks hits per game, according to Pro Football Focus. Through three games in 2020, Fitzpatrick has been pressured an average of 10 times per game and hit only three times each outing. The five sacks surrendered is tied for the eighth fewest in the NFL and the 1.67 sacks per game is down substantially from 3.63 sacks per game a season ago. Eric Flowers was one of two guards in the NFL last season with more than 500 pass-blocking reps and four or fewer QB hits allowed, Dallas four-time All-Pro Zach Martin the other. The talent we brought in in the offseason, those guys have come in and meshed very well, Fitzpatrick said. It's early, though. In this league as soon as you show a crack or something guys can take advantage of their going to. We have to continue to get better and not just be happy with some of the performances so far.